Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex and today we're gonna speak about filters in CS Card. Let's begin. Filters are a part and parcel of any modern store. Using them, customers quickly find the products that meet specific parameters. The parameters for filters can be either the standard product fields or the extra fields defined in products features. Let's create a new filter based on a feature for the demonstration purposes. Click the plus button to open a pop-up. Enter a filter name and position. Select one of the features or product fields to filter by. Decide on the display type. Expanded displays the full content of the filter on a storefront and minimized hides the filter content under the arrow icon. Number of displayed filter variants before scroll. We choose the number of filter variants to be displayed on the screen. The other variants will be shown when scrolling a list. Then we turn to the Categories tab and add categories where this filter will be displayed. If you leave this tab empty, the filter will be applied to every category in the store. After that, we click Create to finish the process. Now it's time to add our filter to the storefront. It can be done through Design Layouts. Here we choose the desired layout page. Usually filters are displayed at category pages, so we choose the category layout page. We choose the appropriate container, click the plus icon. Open the Create new block tab and in the open section click the product filters button. Enter the block name and choose the desired template. Original makes a box with all available product filters and a price slider. Selected filters creates a box with filters selected by a customer. Horizontal filters takes all available product filters with content hidden under the arrow icon. After that, we turn to the Content tab and add the desired filters, or just leave the space empty and use all filters. Click Create to finish the process. Now we go to the stuff run to check our new filter. Here it is. The filter was created and successfully added to the stuff run. And that's how you handle filters in CS Card. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card videos.